<laughs> no, there's literally no reason. No, please stop. He's not gonna do it. Everybody, it's the normies. We're back to watch The Office season three, episode one, Gay Witch Hunt. Oh, we just had a little bit of one just now. Pre intro, yeah. you don't even know. <laughs> My name is Serge. I am Pat. I'm Mickey. I'm Spidey. Marketa. Chris motherfucking Johnson. This is about to be a wild one. His middle name is motherfucking. I'm excited. Uh, I think that the only person we know is gay is Oscar. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Do you remember that one episode when Oscar was uh, pretending to be sick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and Dwight. Dwight was completely oblivious that <laughs> yeah. he was in a relationship with another man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably about a continuation of that. So what Michael's gonna get it in his head somehow that he needs to like diversify the office and like he heard that there's a gay person so he's just dying to know who the gay person is. Oh my I'm God. gonna guess. Mm. And then he, he outs Oscar in a very embarrassing way publicly in mm -hmm. front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe and you should have wrote this, huh? Toby, That's on par. Toby's gonna be like just... <laughs> Don't do that. Just don't do it. Yeah, like Michael. Don't do can't. it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's a hot take. Um, Creed is a wild card. Creed's gay. Uh, Creed, who's Creed? Creed Bratton. The, the old dude. The old guy. Creed oh, the, the, the body dude? We the know one who said, said it. He, who's who's making me. soup? <laughs> <laughs> Shit in the office. <laughs> and, and that's his actual name. So I know funny. we've said that. And the guy who... Does drugs, right? Smokes weed or dress acid? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, like, that's, yeah that's, he bought uh, meth off Jesse Pinkman. Man that's uh, yeah. Northern Lights, Indica. Yep. So Northern Lights. No, oh. it's marijuana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I guess. Well, uh, check it out, y'all. This is our office, and we need to tell you that it's not a market substitute. Support the OG content, and we're about to get straight into it. Diving in. Uh, Bob, we had a baby. It's a boy. Bob had a baby. It's a boy. Thank you. Someone else knows what yeah. that is. I used to have to do that before cell phones. <laughs> Oh, God. It's a, it's a boy cigars? Why are you why are you showing this to us? No. Oh! oh! oh no, I would did. kill you! I uh. I actually have a question. Where do they go? Do they go in the trash can or the toilet? Ryan's listen, on listen, a ten listen, minute. Listen, listen, trash. Listen. Ryan Howard is a junior sales associate at a mid range paper supply firm. Nice. The, it goes in the trash. In the trash? Oh, Not the toilet. Oh, Not on somebody <laughs> else. Oh, mm. she remembers. He's oh. so not Jim. Oh, we're seeing the rest. You have no idea how long I wanted to do that. You admit it? I think we're just drunk. Are you drunk? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you really gonna marry him? Stupid. <laughs> Disappointing. Well, then let's bang one out before you marry him. Before or after? What's the difference, Pat? Before? <laughs> Go on. Oh! <laughs> Pretending. False. I do not miss him. <laughs> <laughs> so that means Jim's not coming come back at all. Yeah, was, he was just there for a couple seasons. Damn! So Jim's gone forever. Yeah. Fuck him. That's so what. So that so sure. he was so he was only there for the will they won't they part of the storyline. That's stupid. Short lived. Jim. I don't. I, I think I think Mickey's lying based off of the fact that Jim and Pam seem to have a thing going on and he's still in the intro. Look, yeah, but that was like last season. Now, or now, maybe they just answered they won't. I call everybody faggy. Why would anyone? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> We're going running straight to it. You called Oscar faggy. Faggy. Yeah. For like the movie Shakespeare in Love more than an action. <laughs> Die Hard. All right, Michael. Die Hard. Oscar. Mm -hmm. We just did a reaction. Exactly. I mean, for real. Okay, a little too far. Cross the line. Oscar is an actual homosexual. <laughs> yeah, he told me this morning. He didn't know. You don't oh. call retarded people. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> you never eat. He's right though. It's bad. You call your friends retards when they're acting retarded. Yes. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my god, he gets me. Oh, oh it's fine. Oh, it's okay. No, I feel it's terrible fine. about it. I, I am just so Maybe. far the opposite way. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> call him into your office and have this conversation. Right? Yeah, quit and talking out here. How you do that to another dude? <laughs> you don't need to go to teach. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Let's do that. These do, my God. He, he, goes, he knows the whole office is going to know that. Michael can't keep his mouth shut. I heard you're gay. I'm not gay. <sighs> oh, this is sad. Yeah, I'm gay. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad that he was able to say it. Huh? Yeah, but he was outed though. He wasn't ready. Oh! Why did I transfer to San Francisco? Oh, hangover. I got promoted. And you can't beat that view. The camera crew followed right? him. Oh my god, what is the view of? Big tuna. <laughs> He's funny. Right? Pretty hot, huh? She's completely crazy. 
<laughs> Trust me, I know. You're clear, big tuna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I ate a tuna sandwich hey! on my first day, oh. and he started calling me Big Tuna. Oh, no. I saw her. <laughs> you don't do that. I went to Cornell, and I sang in the a cappella group, Here Comes Treble. Oh. Here comes Treble. <laughs> We're going to have a little diversity policy freshener because of some more problems at the Scranton branch. And I have a list of business startups I got from the chamber. I am going to need someone to cold call them. Oh, I can do that. Jim's nice enough. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how well he's fitting in here. And he's always looking at the Perkins. camera like this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, I didn't know they, the they pointed out Jim medally in the office. That's pretty yeah, funny. Absolutely. There could be others. I don't want to offend anybody else. You could assume everyone is and not say anything offensive. Ooh, mm, that's good advice. I'm sure everyone would appreciate me treating them like they were gay. I'm sure he did, yeah. Let's call him, get the website. Definitely. <laughs> That's Gadar. Oh, oh, Gadar, yes. No, uh, I think they have it at Sharper Image. <laughs> oh, shit. But you know what? I can check for you. It's sold out. No, they're sold out. <laughs> Try Brookstone. Oh, no. I ain't been to a Brookstone in a decade. I used to go just to sit in their chairs. Can I, a poor plebeian, Chicken just sit on this chair? Chicken. Okay, he's cooking. Look at that, he's making lunch. Good talk. Y'all gonna get married? There's Ooh. no ring. Yeah, oh! I didn't go through with the wedding. I just had to get out of that relationship. Hard cut the dream. We still had to pay for all the food, so we froze it. Well, you froze all the wedding food? Chicken That's what chicken, chicken or fish. fish. After Pam dumped me, I um, I hit bottom <laughs> on uh, a drunk driving arrest. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Oh, what? Yeah, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but she dumped you. There's other people. I got a winner back. Oh. Okay, all right, bro. I tried to return the toaster to the store, and they said they no longer sold that kind of toaster. <laughs> now my house has got two toasters. Thank you, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> toaster. toaster. Stanley's so sassy. It's so cool that you're gay. I totally underestimated you. <laughs> Why? Sure. Cause she's Christian. She don't like the Jews. The Jews? I mean, the, the, the gays. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! You are this most savage alcoholic. She just wants ethanol glycol in any form, any substance. What is that That cannot get old. Guys, you did this. <laughs> He's the Dwight. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't just brush it off like white. You can't do that. You know, it's amazing to me that in this day and age, you could be so obtuse about sexual orientation. I watch queer as. <laughs> queer as folk. Are you aware that you outed Oscar today? What? And they should be allowed to select the timing and manner of announcing it. Well, gay pride, right? It's not like gay. Shame festival. <laughs> now I feel bad that Oscar admitted that in the interview. I think Angela might be gay. Could Oscar and Angela be having a gay affair? Oh my god. Maybe. Is that what this is about? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Does it even I don't know. You know, imagine you were gay. Oh, well, I can't. I'm not gay, Jan, and you should know that better than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> How are you not fired? The company has made it my responsibility today. To put an end to 100,000 years what? of being weirded out by gays. <laughs> what the fuck? Where does this never come from? Michael, Dwight's looking at gay pornography on his computer. Okay, he asked me to do this just for him. He has his own reasons. What is happening? Nothing wrong with this stuff at all. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's quite beautiful. <laughs> oh, God damn it, dude. Watching some of your friends. What the oh fuck, Angela? Help. Touch me. Help. Help. Oh my god, Angela. Oh, <laughs> I don't care. 
care if you are gay or straight or a lesbian or overweight. <laughs> Just get it right now. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we're all homos. Homo sapiens. Gays aren't necessarily gay. <laughs> Oscar, why don't you take this opportunity to officially come oh my out? God. Why would you do this? I'm this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> yes, I'm gay. Can I sit down now? In the 60s, I made love to many, many women. And it's possible a man slipped in. Call it. Could be no way of knowing. Call it. You called it. You called it. You called it. Call it. Yes. Call it. No, somebody else called it. That did. Creates a wild card. Gay marriage currently is not legal under U.S. law. I bet a lot of straight men wish that applied to them. Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds great. <laughs> I think all the other office gays should identify themselves, or I will do it for them. Oh my god. What about Phyllis? She makes absolutely no attempt to be feminine. <laughs> getting married to Bob Aww. Why did you get that? That's great. Everybody has a chance. Oh my god. But still, Phyllis. Rub it in his face. Oh. Did you ever experiment? <laughs> so uncomfortable. What's what happening? This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> no, and you knew me in high school. Of course, we all thought. You were gay in high school. Oh! <laughs> and I take that as a compliment. <laughs> you know, with your ties and your matching well, socks. I think I just... the problem with this office is that you <laughs> are sending mixed signals. The only signal that I am sending is gay good. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the most flamboyant gay you've ever seen. I'd be waving that rainbow flag. <laughs> I don't think I can work here any longer. Yeah. Oh, damn. You know what? Okay. What the fuck? Hey, man, beat his ass. Yeah. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Don't. I am going to embrace Oscar. Stop. You and I are going to make a statement together. Oscar is my I would friend. blow the fuck up. <laughs> no, no. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You're ignorant and insulting and small. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of my way. I'm leaving. Like, right. move. <laughs> This is so awkward. Michael. I'm sorry. That was a good idea. Come on. No, he no, felt bad. He Oscar. felt bad for him. He felt Stand bad. Stand on that shit, son. Oh. <laughs> Michael appears to be gay, too. <laughs> <laughs> he is my friend. Don't do it. Don't do no, it. Please stop it. Stop it. Please stop it. No. No. There's literally no reason. To no, please stop. <laughs> Man, I want you people to remember. Oh this is actually happening. He's not gonna do it. Yes, he is. <laughs> no, he's not. How dare you challenge this man? Please, <laughs> please, <laughs> please, make it stop. HR, get involved. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you definitely quit. Uh, my, jaw. my jaws hurt. <laughs> when two people find each other, oh one my God. should stand in their way. He's missing his girl in the chair. <laughs> At least we put this matter to bed. <laughs> That's what she said. Or he said. <laughs> <laughs> He's grown. He oh. feels like it. Gil, Oscar's roommate. I wonder if he knows. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How is I was so going nervous. to quit. So big headed. But Jan offered me a three month paid vacation. Gil and I are going to Europe. Yes! Sometimes it pays to be gay. <laughs> 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 three month paid That's vacation? That's great. Yeah. Uh, and a company uh, car. Bro, bro, fuck that. I'll, I'll sue them for everything they got. They don't have much. They, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. 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 It's real. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the gaydar? Yes. It works. <laughs> For real? It's just a metal detector. It is. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, Jim still made her laugh. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my god. I have tears in my eyes. I do too, I, bro. Wow. Full body cringe almost came off the couch. I, I fucking ascended. Like, they knew, like we knew where it was gonna go, but the way he did it, the way he just like awkwardly like smeared his lips. Like, oh my god. It was just like a, it was like a smear. He <laughs> touched his teeth with his. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe Dubai went after her too. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Season three, episode one, Gay Witch Hunt. I am fully on board with the fact that this is cringe comedy genius at work, but it hurts. I- imagine uh, it hurts um, so much. Imagine like how many takes it took to film that. No. <laughs> also it looked what, like one. Probably let, one. Let's clarify what we mean by like cringe comedy, because a lot of people take in the comments take that as, as us like not liking the show or being like too woke or whatever. No, it's like it's literally I'm too woke. It's li- it, the show is self aware in itself. Like it, it has a good balance of like showing Michael being the very wrong side of a position, but still through the dialogue and stuff, the message still comes through. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. it, it's I mean it's also it's designed to make you go. It's go. supposed to make you uncomfortable. Yeah, right. That is what I. I think that's what it's out to do. It's yeah. doing that. It's funny in doing that. It's not just gross shock out shit. It's a really, this whole entire episode felt like a long elaborate joke to get <laughs> Michael Scott to kiss Oscar and it was going to be funny and cringy and they did that. It was a slow rush up to that shit and it worked. And I mean, yeah, it's cringy comedy. That's just what the fuck it is. I'm sorry. Like there's uh, dark comedies and then there's stoner comedies and then there's shit. So I just think some now. people in the comments, like when we say cringe, that they take that as, as us know, like not liking the show. That's, not, that's, I feel not, like, that's not what we mean by cringe. I feel like there's not which we can do to explain ourselves because for some reason people thought I didn't understand that the is this soup was a joke <laughs> when he's talking about literal shit on the carpet. <laughs> like, I, uh, yeah. Does she know there wasn't soup? I was like, yes. Yes, I know the shit on the carpet wasn't soup. Imagine that. I was mistaken though, and like the interview happened, and he was like, "I, I am gay." Like, for, I, I don't know. I misread that. I was like, "Oh, that's a good moment that he's saying that." But you know, you cannot force someone to come out. Yeah. Just come out if, if they're trying to keep closeted. Yeah. From oh my yeah. god! And this that's is like a where big barrier. I will promote our scum reactions because yeah. that, that show shows a, one of the best examples of of, of coming how, out to yeah. friends. It is honestly. Mm. It's so good. Perfect. Spot on. Spot on. Weren't they just like, so? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, like, just, right, it was cool. just a very casual kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even his buddy was like, what, you think I'm hot? He's like, nah, dog, you're kind of fucking ugly. Like, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you being real, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, this is pretty funny. And then Creed's like, oh, yeah, who's to know if the man slept it in? <laughs> right. Right. Creed right. just said that you fucked a bunch that. in the 60s yeah. and who knew what. I'm just I saying, Creed's a wild card. Like, Creed I felt like... Kids. We got a lot of kids. We got kids you don't know. Uh, we got some new characters this season. Huh? Yeah. What's his name? Oh, yeah. The hangover the guy. Ed Harris? Not Ed Harris. Oh, uh, uh, Ed Gnomes? Like in, in the show? We haven't heard his uh, name yet. Like I'm, uh, I'm convinced that Jim's going to go back to Scranton, mm-hmm. so I did not commit any of those people to memory. Uh, but yeah. Rashida yeah. Jones, bro. Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. Um, Who the fuck is Andy? No, okay, no, Motherfucker, what? Rock and birds. No, Rashida Jones. She's, um... Rashi- you Quincy don't know Jones' Rashida daughter. Quincy no. Jones' daughter. You don't know Rashida Jones? Get out. Get Hold out of here. You don't know where Pawnee, Indiana is? Yeah. Parks, Parks and Rec. No, no, he no. hasn't seen Parks and Rec, bro. I haven't seen it's Parks okay, and Rec. It's okay, don't worry about it. Motherfucker, I, I ain't yeah. never she's been to been, Pawnee. She's been in other stuff. But I mean, that's like the thing, especially if you live in Indiana. Yeah, wow. but like... Hold on, everybody look at him and shame him one time. You don't know who he's been shamed. All you know is Rashida Jones is Bay. You she guys always bae. She was in Parks and Rec. I often confuse her name with Maya Rudolph. They're not nowhere near the same person. But they look alike, don't they? Not at all. No! Not, yeah, they do! Not what? one entire bit. They're both light-skinned, that is wait, it. Wait, they don't look anything alike. Who and who? Rashida Jones I just get their name because I'll always be like, uh... Uh, and then my brain will just start thinking big mouth. I'm like, no, they're the that's same not her skin voice. tone. That's probably. But why. they 100 percent don't look alike. They look alike. No, they do. They hey, do so, not. So she was in this before Parks and Rec, and I've seen yeah. Parks, and we did reactions to Park. Check that yeah. out if you haven't. And so it's funny here. She's pick. She's learning like this mockumentary style, like as an actress from yeah. the ground up, from where it's like initially being built. I know British Office excluding, and then she brings that over to Parks. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's interesting. I, I know. I know some things. I'm. Just, I'm. Never mind. I'm keep quiet. Uh, do they? Do they? Do those shows uh, mix at all? 
Mm, no. they They're both made by Michael Schur. It would have been pretty. He was on the writing staff of, of both, uh, both of them. Both of them. And then also he does a good place, which has. Yeah, Rick Gervais. Yeah. Michael Schur. No, it's got oh. um, Maya Rudolph in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. There, hey, all right, I think well, we need to make a statement. <clears throat> yeah? What's our statement? That we are very gay friendly on this couch. Man, yeah. I don't know why, that but deal? when you say it, you sound a lot like Michael. <laughs> Can you say it in a way that I believe it? I just we want people to know that <laughs> we, we accept the gays. We accept <laughs> the gays. We do, do want guys, people to look at us. Do you guys remember when we did the gay party? Uh, Pride Party. Yes. Yeah. And I still haven't gotten to do one. On your knees yet. hated us. On your knees. Yeah, Anya specifically. Anya knees was just... Because we didn't take a back seat. We kind of yes. acted like we were in the front seat when we specifically weren't really representing the culture. And also, with the uh, people that we did invite that were uh, LGBTQ, uh, they were just like, damn, y'all are kind of wild. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of a us party with gay themes to it. Instead of it being a Pride Party and somebody, names will not be named, snatched the mic away from the drag queen that was hosting our party it to say me. something I don't even remember what it was wasn't important and after that I was like ooh this <laughs> isn't really playing up the way we want it? I was say, you don't take you don't the mic from the house <laughs> oh I will tell y'all all who it was I but if y'all think in your head you'll guess the right on your knees <laughs> was like this is the straightest gay party I've ever been to yes <laughs> Yes, we, we tried and we crashed and burned, but instead of it being like Michael and them, we at least were like, we raised some money and shit. It was. She, I let her roast me for a little bit. <sighs> she was a good roaster. She I was, was you know what? That, see? She's like, are you cut, baby? Are you cut? Motherfuckers are <laughs> out here talking about, we should do a normie series. Look, perfect episode right there. The normies ruin a pride party. You couldn't write a better episode. It was, it was oh. an episode of Community. That's what, that's what the whole pride party felt yeah. like. Oh. And then it got shut down because the dude, the fucking security guard upstairs was like, hey, people live in this building. You can't be throwing a banner like this. And, and I was like, what do you so, mean? Sorry, you're not, it's a fucking office building. So sorry, like you're not Chris, supposed to be. I mean, you know, people liked us in the Rick and Michonne skit. They were saying, they said they saw some sparks there. Yeah. You know? Oh, beautiful. Remember when you held my hand in that one All right, do it. Do, do it. it. Come I'm on, not make, a do it. <laughs> make a statement. Make a statement. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Uh, Your whole statement is trying to there. kiss Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Mickey kiss another prominent YouTuber, but you know. What? Who? Yeah. I what don't agree with this. Oh, Sean, Sean, I don't want to be remote kissing Surich. No. Marquetta has short hair. We can pretend. <laughs> there you go. Uh, at, the, at, the, at Normicon, I, I did some stuff that was a little untoward with Mickey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> and we got that on camera. We're all telling on ourselves. Let's talk about the episode. Oh, uh, yeah, there were a lot of uh, so, uh, uh, Pam. Okay. What do you, where, hey, what do you, hey, she still got to laugh at a gymism. Yeah, that was cool. That was yeah. cool. I did actually think that Roy legitimately did look a little more felt, and I was like, oh, and I like that they wrote it in that he like fucking got his shit together yeah. or is trying to get his shit together. Uh, I understand that he wants to be with Pam. Pam broke up with him. They still have a bunch of fucking food to eat. I get that they're doing the thing yeah. where they, you know they're separating the, the the dishes and shit. But like Roy, Roy boy, hear me out, my guy. Go do something else. There's yeah, a whole entire town here. This is one Pam. And I know that Pam is nice, and I dig Pam, but, like, come on, bro. Like, get the fuck out of here. Sometimes you don't realize what you got until it's gone. And, man, is that cameraman nosy. He's over there. The yeah. like, oh, so show me your ring finger. <laughs> is that the pot calling like, the kettle Pam? Now, doesn't it beg the question, why are there two camera crews at two different uh, branches? Oh, you know, know why. What's, What's the budget? On? What's the budget on this fucking What's thing? going on? Uh-oh. Is oh, there another office office is happening? There office office? A there primary a, office oh, happening oh. at the same time as this office? Uh, no, no, a dual yeah. office? No, that honestly they should have done a spinoff of like another branch. That could have been funny. The office also? The office also. <laughs> <laughs> the other office, the main office. <laughs> nah, but you know, it's not something you'll get into. In my head, person. all the all the found footage shows are spin-offs of the office. It's all the same crew. Now we're gonna do a police station. Now we're gonna do a modern family. Now we're gonna do a elementary school. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen. I'm waiting because once I get sad in the winter, I'm going to watch Abbott uh, Elementary. Oh my I, God. I did want to say about Pam and Roy and Jim. I like that Pam, like after calling off the wedding, she didn't like immediately call Jim. Mm -hmm. And just like trying to give herself space to figure out how she actually feels about mm -hmm. all of this. Mm -hmm. Instead of just like bouncing back to Jim immediately. Like just stay alone for a little bit. Figure her shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's the thing, guys. <laughs> when you get the chance to experiment with your sexuality, go with it. You never know what you might learn about yourself. You might broaden your horizons. You never also, know where you might slide. If there is a pride party, 
we're going to throw another one and we're going to need a lot of help doing it. We do actually have gay friends and we're going to put them on the committee to help us throw a pride party so that we don't fuck it up. It's going to be so And then gay. we won't even yeah, show up to that party. It'll be slapped. Perfect. It'll slap. <laughs> we won't go. I'll None go. of us will go. <laughs> I anyway. feel like I was pretty gay at that party. You were not. You <laughs> wish you fucking were. I had my shirt off. I was fucking... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Hey, thanks so much for watching this reaction. We'd like to give a huge shout out to our super patrons, Joe Mags, Jacob D. Van Horn, Georgia, Raga, and Keyboard Junkie. Be sure to let us know what you thought about this episode down below. Thanks again.